Hello friends, today we are going to study about the glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. It is an X-linked recessive metabolic disorder where there is deficiency of glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. When there are certain triggers present like certain foods like power beans which are shown in the figure and during certain infections or during medications in which uh, certain drugs are taken which can cause hemolysis these triggers lead to spontaneous destruction of rbc's which lead to excessive hemolysis which ultimately presents as present as jaundice in a person having glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency now the pathophysiology of glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. This enzyme is required in the pentose phosphate pathway to convert the glucose 6-phosphate to 6-phosphogluconate. During this process, the NADP is reduced to NADPH. This reduced NADPH is required to maintain the levels of reduced glucathione. This Reduced glucathione protects the RBCs against the oxygen-free radicals. Since the G6PD is absent in this individual, the patient's RBC is prone to this stress by the reactant oxygen species. Now, the since the G6PD pathway is the only source it is the only source of reduced glucathione in rbc's so during an oxidative stress when all the remaining reduced glucathione is consumed the enzymes or the proteins they are damaged by the oxidant there is corresponding protein deposition in the red cell membrane and these damaged red cell membrane are phagocytized, sequestered by the spleen. You can see the spleen. The hemoglobin is then metabolized to bilirubin. Now, how the patient will present to a doctor? We can uh, see that in a neonate, there will be prolonged neonatal jaundice. And in a neonate, the blood-brain barrier is immature. So if there is access, in access, there is production of unconjugated bilirubin, it might cross the blood-brain barrier and leading to connectress, which is a very dangerous situation. Hemolytic crisis can be there in response to infection, certain drugs, foods we already discussed that uh, broad beans, power beans can cause hemolytic hemolysis in a patient having G6PD deficiency. Since these broad beans are also known as power beans, we also refer to this disease as powerism. In very severe cases, when there is access of bilirubin or access of hemolysis, the kidney directly start excreting hemoglobin and this state we can say that the patient is having acute kidney failure now sorry for that now how are we gonna diagnose our patient having patient having G6PD deficiency So the first we're gonna do the complete blood count. In complete blood count we might see anemia due to excessive destruction of RBCs. Then we're going to do reticulocyte. The reticulocyte will be increased due to increased activity of bone marrow in the presence of excessive destruction of RBCs. 
and we can we will also do peripheral blood smear where we can see hence body you can see the hence body over here and we can also do liver enzyme to exclude other causes of jaundice lactate dehydrogenase they are elevated in cases of hemolysis and they are the markers of hemolytic severity heptoglobins in G6PD deficiency or hemolysis will be reduced we should also do direct antiglobulin test or Coom test and it should be negative as hemolysis in G6PD is not immune mediated now what is going to be the treatment first for prevention we can go for vaccination against hepatitis a b to prevent the infection induced attacks in severe cases acute cases we have to go for blood transfusion or even dialysis in acute kidney failure and to prevent excessive destruction of RBC we ultimately go for splenectomy which is the removal of the spleen thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe watch my other videos as well